What's up? Is it working? Seems to be working now. Welcome, guys. Today we have a new update. Battle with Bertrand. Are you guys ready? Mario Hardy, I know you are already here. Welcome so much. And uh, Diego Lopez, Mutant Hill Nameless. How are you guys doing today? Today was holiday here in Brazil. <laughs> Hey Cordero, welcome. You are ready. Welcome Jason Thomas as well. Hope we get news on the banner. Uh, is the update live already? Catch banner was announced. Mm. I'll have to skip cat. Katarina. Hello, K Capivara. Welcome. What's up, Mario? How are you doing? Working? Resting? Wooten says uh, 6,000 no jeans for March. Usual sh stuff. Oh, 6,000 total, right? I'm hungry for gems. 6,000 is never enough. We're still getting stuff from February looking bonus because <laughs> it's a short month. Your microphone sounds weird. Let me see something here. Still weird or not? Because I have a fan here close to me because it's so hot. New formation added. Let's go to the news first. Another one better with Cursed? One. Slash and Shadow. Sounds fine from here. Maybe it's um, your internet, Capybara. 4,000 Jews, gold pieces, and more. Mmm. Nice. It's the whole new event, 1620s. Mmm. Battle with Cursed 1. This is related to the new event, right? The new banner. Leonid and Evelyn are Platinum, but Katarina and Hilda, they are UDXs. They are actually very good. But I will not have enough gems. Maybe it's your AirPods. Oh, you have AirPods, huh? Yes, Farming Conquest was worked. It's always worked. <laughs> your AirPods. <laughs> Mario says, resting before work. Nice, man. Uh, is it so soon for work or not? Okay, so what do we do first? Let's check this information. One hour for now. Maybe it's time for you to, to kill the boss. Information exchange. Ah, multi counter. That's nice, I already have enough. <laughs> Let's purchase it. Looks like they want us to farm main story, but the old ones with no story update. We need a new story update and it's probably related to Bertrand. But the next banner is not Bertrand. I, I, I'm pretty sure they will do a live stream with Square Enix to show Bertrand first. And we'll have a new update to the game. An app update change. We having our pod, is that a surprise for you? Yeah, I remember you saying that you only uh, play on your cell phone, so you're kind of, kind of invested. It's not exactly a surprise. Look on Bertrand, huge Bertrand boss. Uh, what is Bertrand weak to? Sun? <laughs> Physical. He's a mage. Mm. 
Let's clean the first things just by auto. So I believe Bertrand uh, story update is like one week from now. Giant Bertrand. Well, only 20 yes, weak passives will not work. The soundtrack is the same one with the animation with Joe. I wonder when we're gonna get War, uh, War Tower. I believe uh, after the run. Got Jay baited. You guys believe that this will be hard? I don't think so. I don't think this is gonna be hard. You bet it's hard. Well, he already has plenty of HP. The music is everyone is seen universe original. Yes, Capavar knows everything. Quest was hard, Golden Ball was hard. If you buy me one too, look how much damage you have done to it already. Yeah. That's just a different squad. Buni. The squad that I use it for Buni. Let's see how it goes. I don't know, Cher, you are the second stage and he's already faster than your characters. This is just like Golden Ball as well. Uh, since the first stage, the enemy was already difficult. Jordan Walker just subscribed. Thanks, Jordan. If you want, you can also join the squad server. Since he's a mage, uh, rock and a villain, the buff will be good. Yes. Can we evade him? I was trying to evade him. Xeno is gonna be very good here as well. Yeah, I guess this this squad will be very strong. And Cordero, I don't think that the amount of CP you have qualifies you for a fight or not. It's more about the characters. Having plenty of HP will give you a lot of CP, but that does not translate into power.
He's a dark mage with slash dark and fire attacks. Hey, welcome, jungle. Well, on start, this seems a little easy. But of course, two stage number four or five, I don't know. So we're trying for next banner. Next banner is you saw uh, Katarina and Hilda. Also, let's bring Matriarch instead of Red. We haven't seen yet, it could be Cat and Hilda, yes, Cat and Hilda. Do I remove Vayne? Or do I remove Red? Uh, I will remove Vayne. I'm so excited for Versus Bertrand. Oh, you are raising. I know you are waiting for him since a long time. The equipment are not exactly the best ones. I think this was geared towards Buni. Yes, it was. Let's go for four damage first. Saving all the other case that I go for speed. Takizaki Zaki is good enough. I guess this is the best way to do auto for now. Until we reach romancing, at least.
what type of characters they are in this upcoming banner? They are Slash and Pierce specialists. Both Cat and Hilda. Mirage Blade. Plus, not just Mirage Blade. My gosh, Shark, I know this. <laughs> you know? But what do you mean about type of the characters? She's buffing STR and agility plenty of times. Do we have Bertrand as a payable style? His character seems cool. Yes, we get a free S that no one's gonna use anyway. And uh, premium one, probably in one week from now. Consider trying the new multi counter formation for Bertrand. Why? The only attack that he uses that it's useful for counter is the Mirage Blade Plus. I uh, have to see if he uses that too many times. Oh, yeah, Moon Foon's Lash as well. But so far, it's pretty easy. Why counter this version of him? Let's wait till we reach Romancing. Then we reach Romancing, we can test if counter is okay. But for now, this is pretty easy to just fast auto. But I purchased the counter strategy already. I want to know if they are the buffers, farmers, boss, and specialists. Oh. Mm. To be honest, they, I, I believe they work for both things. But I'm, uh, I have to check then again. I checked then like two weeks ago. I don't remember too much. Let me see here in the Now Roma Saga website. We'll probably have their informations by tomorrow. They will make a video for Taiwanese. But Hilda and Katarina are a little different. Uh, they have that different weapon that becomes Pierce. Let me start with Katarina. Just like in the original game, Romancing Saga 3, she has the same thing. Masquerade weapon, if I remember correctly. She has a new move slash. <laughs> it's not Sun Slash, doesn't have the Sun part, only Slash. Maybe they will buff her for cold damage, would be nice. Then she has Wake Up. She deals a very weak attack, just like Leon, and then she activates the Moulin Rouge. It's an S power, okay, 7 VP. Um, she will come close to wield the extra Pina cross break, but she uses 7 VP instead of 8. It's pretty powerful. She has an AoE with Slash and Blunt, so she's a farmer. She also works for boss fights, yeah, just like I saw in the past. But some of her passives will probably change, guys. The first one recovers at, uh, HP when she attacks with 25% chance, and this is not something that we get with premium styles anymore. Let me check Hilda. Hilda is a direct pierce attacker, she uh, recovers. Just like she. Oh, yeah, Hilda has a cleanse spell. Also, an AoE with C power and 6 BP. The other one hits between 3 to 4 times. This one can be buffed, I believe they will buff to 3 to 5 times. It's just similar to the new version of Blue. I mean, damage and number of hits. In her case, it's Pierce and Heat. It's not Sun, it's Heat, it seems. No, no, it's, it's Heat and Sun. More Sun damage dealers, because why not? But she's one of those characters that have plus 1 BP, and she starts a new trend as well. 5% de uh, dexterity, 5% love. <laughs> love, yes. She starts to healing better. Mm, one more BP on every new turn. 
she also starts... Oh, yeah. Fart up six. Fart up six starts with Hilda. Oh, no, no. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, watching the wrong Hilda. This is the wrong Hilda. So I think it's a beat 15 with the Rainbow Rangers team. So it's not hard then. Are you evading as well? Let me check the correct Hilda. I was checking the wrong one. Wake up. She also has the same attack. Yeah, they both share the same attack. Right. She's a self-stacking character that also works similar to the first Ferdinand. With zero BP attack that buffs Dax 30. And it's both Dax 30 and Slash, I think. Mulan Krarty. What a strange name for an attack. She also becomes a. Uh, she enters an evasion stance with only one LP. Remember Brownie? Brownie uses two LP to become uh, an evasion character. And she only uses one. But 10 BP is too much. You cannot spend this. Chance to evade, extra damage. Part up 5. I part up 5 yet. Sorry, guys. I was checking the second Hilda. I don't know why. Sometimes now Roma Saga they show first the last character instead of the first one. She gets uh, weakness concentration four, so against Bertrand it will not trigger. <laughs> I'll see this later. Let's wait for the video for the Taiwanese community. We'll get the raw data about the upgrades. All these characters are updated in the global version. Okay, thanks, Cher. Well, I'm not interested in any of these characters, so I think I may summon for Sorowin. Yeah, I'll probably summon for Sorowin as well. I don't have that many gems. Consider trying a new multi counter formation. Oh, yeah, you already answered that. Haven't beaten any of them yet. Messing with stuff on day one. We are out. I'm, s I'm already night here. I want to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, Mutant Hill. It's already night here as well. 10 p.m. and 23 minutes. Might need a healer, but I'm evading a lot of Bertrand attacks. They seem to be forcing sustained healing matters for the future. Yeah, and the future of JPs is pretty different than ours. We are going toward that point of having self-sustain with many characters. Also, game formation becomes important. Next, uh, Matriarch will also buff Love and Charisma. Dex 30 and Will. So, characters that are based on Dex 30 will get stronger. Getting Nadar would also be good for you. Nadar is pretty useful. I mean, with 4 BP by turn, he does not get outclassed easily. And buffing will, right from the start against Bertrand, will be good, guys. If you have Bertrand, oh, Bertrand. if you have the new Nade Art, you can use him against Bertrand. Hey, Wozy, welcome. Hey, Cher, looking good as ever. Oh, thanks. Uh, this game was designed before about just, well, having f short fights. You could not heal too much, damage was pretty busted, so you have to finish fights in like six turns at most. So now what they are doing with this game is that uh, we have to survive for more time. They are giving us tools to survive more time. Like, we probably have to survive ten turns. Hey, Thiago Travi, welcome. How are you? Don't have any will buffers besides Liam, so yeah. You don't have Noel's daughter, Capivara? Yeah, so Nadar will be helpful for you. I prefer to go after Saruin than going after Hilda. Two UDX winners on the same time. This is not easy. Imagine when they return with these characters, they return on the same banner. My gosh, Sherry, you have a memory of a goldfish. Why? I've been pumping all the boys up to 1.6 thousand HP this week. Me too. Some. 
So far, it's doing so fine. Bertrand cannot even hit me. I believe that even on Horomancing, we can defeat it with just this strategy. This is a lot of stacking. All characters here buff agility in a way or another. Raj Blade Plus. What type of counter strategy will work well in Bertrand? Well, I usually prefer to counter when there's multiple enemies against only one enemy. Yes, only one enemy, maybe uh, Amy is good. King says the next week probably is Bert, and after that another UDX with Gustav and Gustav. Yes, uh, if we follow JP, that's probably what's gonna happen. That Gustav is fun, but he gets easily outdated. There's one passive of him that's pretty nice, that gives 10% increase in... I don't remember which thing, if it's damage of SDR. Have to check in later. But that is not so hair after some time. He's just the start of these things. Anyone is planning to pull on Katharina and Hilda? Slash and Pierce hybrid characters. Evelyn is a free character that just gets something interesting. She has a will debuff with this style, I believe. Let me see here. Are he using direct attacks? You can use Mikayu. Matador. Well, yeah. Mikayu just self buff many times. Waiting to see the buffs here. Yeah, we have to wait. Speculate about the characters before we see buffs. It's kind of useless. You see that Bertrand is not getting too much more HP. He started with plenty and still has plenty, but the difference between stage number 1 and 15 is not so much. I'm hoping to get Katarina early before Hilda drops. I really don't want to train. One second, guys. So she starts with light speed, right? Yeah, they can upgrade it to be light speed plus. Let me see here. Uh, I was talking about Evelyn. Uh, you should not expect any upgrade to Evelyn because she's platinum. Yeah, she gets a 5vp AoE attack that the buffs will. It's interesting because it's free. It's a free version of Evelyn.
Wait, something strange is happening. The light speed plus, yeah, it's on the meta now. It will not drop. One second again. Sorry, I'm back. One of my monitors just turned it off and it was because I just kicked it, the cable by accident. Stage 15! <laughs> Running on auto. So the next uh, Leonid, let me see what's Leonid about. Oh, Blunt and Shadow. Blunt and Shadow, Blunt. He's not that bad, especially for a free character. Yeah, <laughs> he looks like Vampire Lady. But Hilda with light speed plus would be very nice. Let me see how is her uh, auto cycle. She's not as good as Mikayu and uh, Zeno because they can ignore all their attacks and start with light speed plus right from the start. But Hilda cannot. Her second skill has 7 BP cost. Hmm. So her light speed uh, cycles will be different unless they change something about her. I'm still waiting for the return of the Elder Mikayu to get that light speed for him as well. Ah, Mantrock just died on the way. And a lot as well. I don't think the other one's gonna die. Oh, they got hit! Is not looking good. Let's restart. But the team is here already. Yeah. Seems like her S style already comes with light speed plus, even. Her cycle is not uh, so interesting. Hello everyone, I'm here in charge that you you had that type in man, and I didn't exactly die, I retreated. <laughs> you were waiting for this moment. Okay, pretty, okay, 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 I know you wanna claim on I know. No, 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 no. You're gonna scratch me. Now, what's got? Paralyzed? Yeah, it's not like we, we are going to this point. Things can go south. Say hi, Bradinha. No, she just wanna. She just wanna claim. No, I will not. I don't allow them. No, no, Bradinha, you're gonna scratch me. Just keep that tax copy to your clipboard, red right, to use, don't you? Yeah, of course, all the time.
<laughs> People are just dying. Save for Xenon. Oh, uh, yeah. Red is still alive. Same case again. Only Xenon and Red will survive. Madeline can survive as well, but needs some RNG. You need to use the UDX version that buffs agility. Or you can run on Alto and just buff Matriarch. Pee on a victory instead of Shining Glory. <laughs> that should work as well. But this is an Alto. Bye. Bye bye, Bertrand. Oh, challenge one? It's not Princess White Rose useful here. Yeah, she is. I was just running on auto. <laughs> Can we still run on auto? Let's reach romancing. I'm gonna make some coffee, guys. I'll be back. But I'm pretty sure this squad will solve the problem, right? Should do it. Should do it. Oh, don't attack the character that's just <laughs> self harmless Oh, we got a combo. Punishing combo with a combo. Well, his daughter doesn't have such a high agility, that's why she just gets hit pretty often. I also don't have a heal spell inherited. I actually didn't because I was using this in raid setups. I didn't want her to heal. Let me boil some water. Wait, what? Defeat? No, he got Sino. <laughs> oh no. Use S rank now as daughter of Cycle Surging Wave and Dodge Forever. She dies anyway. She dies pretty easy because her base agility is just so bad that even if she buffs many times, she just can't evade. Hello everyone, I'm here in Shards now actually dead. Uh, this is the first time that I really died. <laughs> okay, so when you uh, do a combo, the buff value increases, so maybe... Oh no, Madeline, you didn't buff your agility? Hey, Matrix! Uh, dead already? Reap? Total reap. And without her second Shining Glory, this may not work so well. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, <laughs> she got paralyzed. Yeah, we have to mano. GG, we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Going out for work, Mario? Time for Shendu. Yeah, Shendu has to do his do do this and he will save the team. Water Crystal Exchange resets the best thing for today. Yeah, it's our payday. We have two paydays in Romance Saga. One is for White Crystal Exchange and the other one is for Spiral Tower. 
Yes. Two payments. Just massing with you. <laughs> Alright, you are not uh, shearing for me, Mario. And I see lots of juicy attacks for counters. Come on here, Princess Mario. Yeah, Mirage Blade plus exactly direct attack. A direct attack. We can counter attack Bertrand many times. And also Golden Lion. She takes damage. I don't know if she survives those many things. N negative Torrent. Negative Torrent? <laughs> yeah, let's forget about this. We'll do a different way. You get Buni yet? Yeah, got Buni. Yes, I will post the, tomorrow the, the, the summons I did. But it's funny. I got Buni and uh, Ferdinand on the pool number 14. Yeah, I had enough like 40,000 medals and something. And then she dropped it together with Ferdinand. Now I can pity for news. Optical Slash is the base of sure. Oh, you're talking about Optical Slash. But that does not get her more BP. It's interesting to use something that gets more BP. So let's talk about different strategies here. Let's go for slot number four, maybe. Evasion. <laughs> Evasion. Look at the name of this squad. Evasion. Thank up for magic attacks. Princess White Rose worked pretty well here. I feel like this is another boss that will not beat the hard stages. Um, if you don't manual, you can just win easier. We're gonna pity for news. Yes, because I'm just so close. It's just like five single pulls to get for news now. Hey! Also, why are you using a lodging? Are you going to summon for Saruin? Yes, I'm gonna try my luck with Saruin. I need him. He's gonna be used for plenty of farming strategies. Who has Optical Slash? Uh, that is Golden Lion. But Golden Lion has that other attack that is using 7 BP, and every time that she counters, she gets 1 BP. So she can counter attack many times. But this boy also can just attack with magical attacks, and she cannot counter those. <laughs> well, Fair Golden Lion, yes. Hey, Xenon. Who did you say would be used for many strategies? Um, Saruin, but farming strategies, not boss strategies. Every time that I use Saruin for boss fight, he means he can use something else. He's not particularly unique for boss fights. Just a different way to do damage. But for farming, he can open some new setups. Yes. For boss fights, you can use something else. Let me get my coffee. So yeah, Bertrand does not want this to work, and let's do a manual setup. No, let's retreat. I think Shard Sat and do, do BP wrong, he should not have used it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, let's try one last time then, with uh, the right attack. Very tempted to do a multi for Hilda, because you want Lightspeed Plus? 
or because you want another Pierce image dealer. She's a hybrid, she's not bad. Hey Shindu, what's gonna what you're gonna do? What you gonna do? Also, we have to bring slash resistance in this fight. Red. Oh, well, most of the characters here have slash and also equipments. Yeah, the equipments are not that bad. Right now, we're gonna play on manual. Romancing will be very difficult. This guy is harder than I expected to be. Uh, Hummingbird and PM. Meno, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this. And I don't know if Bertrand uh, uses the fire weakness. Anyone here can confirm if he uses the fire weakness or not? We tried Mirza. Not yet. Mirza is a good counter for him, yeah. Mirza is. He also negates dark. How many attacks from Bertrand has dark? Not that many, to be honest. He has plenty of direct attacks. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Five direct attacks, but way more indirect attacks. Plenty of spells. Negative torrent. Who uses this attack, man? I want to see this with a character that we can use. He has the five weaknesses, so probably 35% above to reach that. Also, Shindu is gonna receive uh, an upgrade in the cheer list, guys. Since the fight weakness become a norm, he's now better. Look, you bring the two master of the uh, of buffs in the game, and also together with Shindu, it's impossible to not evade stuff. We're gonna use Gale Cycle now. <laughs> oh, we don't have VP. Now, this is gonna work, of course, but... How many people can use this exact setup that I'm using here? The Rise of Shindu, yes. <laughs> the Rise of Shindu. <laughs> Looks like a Chinese novel. It's just like a, a... A Chinese general. From the Three Kingdoms. Shindu. can use it with Mikay instead of Zeno. You can! Nice. Someone else can use the same thing? Wanna try a different solution. Yeah, this is cheesy. I'm just doing that just to test. I'll try a different setup in the next turn. Uh, this is challenge 2, then there's challenge 3 in Romancing. This is super ultra cheesy. But it still is a method, right? Still a way to finish this boss. Then I'll use Halloween Princess White Rose. Many people will have Halloween Princess White Rose because she got a rerun. In case you know, and press and well switch self agility buff. Well, UDX, a Madeline has, the newest Aini has self agility buff. The newest Boston also has, but in a different way. But yes, it does. Those are some options. Red. Yes, red. Another character that can work for light speed plus is Selma, but Selma is pretty old. You need the first limited style of Selma to get light speed plus. Uh, the other one that gets it easily, it's the platinum version of... What's the name of her again? It's on my... Amplified Guide, Diana. Diana. Let's do an overdrive now. Woodstock. Or festival, light speed. Oh no, it's still not on... Not everyone is on overdrive yet.
Hey, does it work? Welcome. Oh, what you know about the Three Kingdoms? Sure. Uh, uh, the only things I know about it is what I learned from Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors taught me something. My Shindu is not training, but will he still work? Train here on the conquest mode. You not lose anything. It's pretty fast to train a character on conquest. So full. Let's go with Gale. Actually, why not full damage with him, right? Man, I beat. If you never got Shendu, you will never recognize his full potential. I'm happy from, for Shendu, but uh, we more happy if I got him. Well, I, I believe this is overkill. It's hardly something that you need if you already have Matrak and Nawal's daughter. He's a replacement or someone to go over Q. By himself, he's exactly interesting to use on Alto. With UDX, Matrak, Shining Glory. But yeah, I have to recognize him. You play Dynasty Warriors? I played with a friend. A friend of mine was pretty... Uh, you know, a huge fan of this game. He was even making some fan stories. Yes. And sometimes I play with him. I played by myself Warriors Orochi. Samurai Warriors sometimes. But back in the PS2 era, or PSP. On PS3 I never played these games. I actually played... Uh, Warriors Orochi 2 on PSP. Oh, instead I would try a different setup. Let's retreat here, so then we try a new one. You too, do they only learn? <laughs> there are some games that talk about, uh, more about this, and they are RPGs, but I can't remember the names. You love Samurai Warriors for Empires. Um, I don't play the Empires game, never played the Empires expansions. Only the original games. So I don't know much uh, how they are and everything. So let's call this division team uh, Bertrand. Bur one. Birch one. Now for the second build, we're gonna use something else. Now we're gonna go into, you know, Mirza, and then you counter strategy. <laughs> what do you think? Should we use Zany and Mirza because they don't need an active skill to enter counter? I think this is gonna work. Let's search for a new Amy. Ah, but my new Amy is still not maxed. It. I don't know if she'll go so well. But let's see. Amy and Mirza. Where's the other Mirza? I'm gonna use a new formation. Where are you, Mirza? Where's Mirza? Oh, Mears is not fully training. Bird have no weaknesses, right? He's weak to the physical damage, but not really weak. Empires like they mix it, Dynasty Waters and Romance of the Three Kingdoms games. Oh yeah, Romance of the Three Kingdoms games. They are real-time strategies, right? Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Do you suggest we save our jewels during March? Well, if if they release a new matchwork in March, yeah, you should have enough gems to pity her. My Mikayu and Xenon Lightspeed is maxed, but forgot to amplify. Need Seeker's Path. Oh, 24 levels, not so hard to achieve. Well, actually, 29 after that, or 30. Well, it's not so hard to achieve. Bass of both words, if you ask me. Is it? Didn't know that. So, well, we are gonna bring Halloween Princess White Rose as well. We should go here. And now, who else do we bring? Global Axe Rock, okay. What else can I bring, guys? Is it cheesy to bring one, one Matriarch, at least? Just got back, how is Romance in Bertrand? Jay is hard. It's hard. Who we bring here? Yunzin. 
Yeah, uh, let's see if this only brings recent characters. Well, Mirza was re-released in December, Aini is January. Oh, wow, she's February. December. February. January. Yunlin is recent. So yeah, only... Oh, actually, let's bring Final Impress. Instead of Yunzin. Maybe she works. This is a very uh, recent team. Some people will be able to replicate. It's been a while since the last rerun of Matrix, so some people can replicate things that use her. Pumpkin ring, it's okay. Here's a... Gonna he have this light plus weapon. We're also gonna use soldier gauntlets. Ah, guys, let's equip the latest accessory that increases dark resistance. This one wicked necklace. It's useful here. We could also set some stones on this, but I won't. Another character that should be good here is Shira, because she also has native high darkness resistance. Dark, white rose, phoenix. Maybe it's better to use the shirts with everyone. Everyone. Everyone has at least 60 resistance. Save for her. Matriarch Mantle. Seems nice. On Par Lady 2, you'll be forsaking her. Well, she does not do as much damage. Remember that Dynasty Water Tactics joint? They came with the semen similar, but not enough for me to try. There's also a Dynasty Waters with Pokemon game, remember? So funny. Mm, let's drink coffee. Hi, Angelo. Welcome. I'm pretty fine. How about you? Can Rapina counter him? Yeah, she can, but not enough. We not have enough PP to kill him. Actually, she can stack by using the skill. Maybe she works well. Does he have more cold and heat attacks than shadow? She does have plenty. Uh, he does have plenty. He has cold, he has heat, he has shadow, he has lash. Well, Amy, you can start with uh, Taunt. Or do you think I should be using Parry? I'm not entirely sure what I do here. Maybe I'm gonna use Parry. And see what happens. Silver's word? No. We will have to inherit Ray of Hope. Rock's gonna inherit Water of Life. Final Press gonna inherit the Moonlight. Love that Pokemon game that's called it Pokemon Conquest, yes. I never played. Only saw videos. Multi-counter, yes. This one increases intelligence and love. This one increases dexterity, STR. Yeah, this formation is pretty nice. Sadly, the tactics games were very low quality. Koei Tecmo is really good on historical games and making good managers, but bad on everything else. Uh, they make too many games, they make too many similar games as well. Where I can get the multi counter formation. It's on the shop. Formation metal shop. It's new. Now I don't know what I do. Counter formation? Yes, no new formation, does it? I'm a fan of the Three Kingdoms and play most all of their games except from the mobile ones, from Koei versions to the latest Total War version. There are plenty of Total War games and they made a lot of success. 
Uh, we can go with Mac Blade Plus or Colorful Slash or Parry. Should I do Parry? Well, Mirza, you can wait a little. How many times can I debuff his agility? I don't know. He's already healing. What? This attack is just so powerful. Well, Perry didn't help. Steel Blade. Shuffle balls once more. I think I can stack two times at least. Ah, deflect. Well, she parried, but didn't counter. Now he has taunt. It was not so good. Let's stack agility then. Why use parry? We, we kind of want to evade by agility, right? Okay, off to bed. Good night, Cordero. Have a good night. It's time to heal Mirza, but I can just use the normal heal from... I don't know, Empress? Or maybe I can use Ray of Hope. Because I think he would just cleanse himself by using the Agility debuff. Fell in love because the real Huden manga back in the 2000s. What is that real Huden manga? It is not helping too much, to be honest. Do we use overdrive? Less. Or this formation and press on the back is just so nice. He buffs his intelligence. Another good counter is, well, Asimus with her intelligence debuff. I guess I'm gonna use Imperial Shield now. You're right back, getting ready for work. Oh, nice, Mario. Take your time. Imagine New Year's mirrors are here countering. Do much more damage. Well, he's already dying. Oh! He killed Mears.
Oh, next turn he's dead. What stages should you farm with, with 140 HP units? I need some status because of conquest. Y if you are running conquest, it means that the stronger you get, the better the status you can farm. So, farm conquest, claim story mode. Farm conquest, claim story mode. You should not focus on story mode. You should still focus on conquest. Bye bye, Bertrand. We all gotta go. Have a nice stream. Good night. Good night, jungle. Take some rest. Mac Blade, Choco Balls, and. Uh, well. Saint Fire. And he's dead. So this works as well. We use totally different characters for this run. I guess some people can run this. How many people here on the chat can run this, this same same squad? Share you get for news? Not yet, Angelo. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just running the, the new event for now. But he is a guarantee. Global X Final Impress is blessing. <laughs> yes. Now it's romancing stage. You are E Guard buff is so useful. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I only use it one shield, so let's name this as well as Bertrand. Bert two. Let's check the Muchi counter. Let's see, um, very nice. STR next by twenty five, so you can use gunners as well if you want. Intelligence and love, less likely to be target. Will and charisma, more likely to be target, but not end. <laughs> but there's more charisma here. Counter attack boost, actual order medium. Just one counter to focus the hits instead of two. Yeah. Try your pin for news. But the thing is, he sometimes just uses his spells. I don't know if countering is the best way to handle this. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think it's time to use Tigers then. Then different characters again. Because we don't need to use all this time the same characters. The same overpowered ones. Gonna bring Coppelia. And Minerva, they were together on the same build. The same banner. Now we're gonna bring Urpina. No, Yundin. Opelia, Minerva, Yundin. What else? Shira. Those are characters that were released recently. What is the function of charisma? Well, uh, you receive higher killings. What should be the last one then? Mikhail. We have an Agility buff with Shira, we have a Dexterity buff with Yunzin, we have an STR buff with Minerva, another STR buff with Coppelia. Kind of over here, right? Who else do we bring, guys? Someone that we still haven't used it. New beauty, ha, ah, she's not ready. Basilus, um, I kind of already have a, an intelligence debuff or no? Yundin, Minerva, no, I don't. Yeah, let's bring this Asylus. I don't know if she's ready for this, but okay. The problem with this version of Asylus is that people that can use her as she is meant to be, um, 
need two styles. Evelyn makes more sense, Copy. She's from December. You are right. More people will have access to Evelyn. Auto man is not so bad. He can even debuff GDD on Auto. I want to make some uh, runs with this guy here because he's actually pretty good for a, pre uh, a freestyle. Pretty good. But platinum style later. No luck ready to destroy me on the upcoming banners. I never have enough la uh, luck. Lady Bune is always redeemed. She'll be ready by tomorrow. Hopefully. So, Copelia, Nerva. Okay, well, let's just choose the attacks. Copelia does not need something else, but... I don't know. Not so bad to bring submission. Yunzin, Water of Life. Or do we bring Water Hammer? Water Hammer. Shira can uh, use Incense. They will not need Incense. Wheel of Sorrow. Only for overdrive damage. But Evelyn... Well, no inheritance here helps, anyway. But I think that something really helped it, and it was to bring the right equipment. Like bringing clothes, bringing a new equipment that decreases dark. Yes. Minerva is not so good against Slash. Maybe not so good to bring her. She kind of clashes with the other characters as well. But she's so good. <laughs> I don't think I want to replace her. Maybe Golden Ball. Yes, let's bring Golden Ball. The new accessories help against her. Yes, Mutan Hill. Good idea to bring that accessories against Sorawin. Really good idea. Actually, let's bring the other one. Why is the full HP on this one? She's not here for damage anyway. Lobster. She needs to fix her dark resistance as well. Let's just get something like full HP. No code. I uh, have to type the high glider. Phoenix golden robe. Check we need more slash, right? More slash, we can use insulated gloves. And now we could necklace. For you, wave cloak or golden robe. Evelyn. Shadow. Just beat the sack on stage, you are on the third. As the above should be work. Yes, stage is Ferdinand time to shine. The new Ferdinand? Or the original one? Match our gauntlets. This is nice. Let's bring this. It doesn't have an abate all stone.
I don't have an Abitol stone on this. Let's remove an Abitol from something else here. Let's remove one from our rubber soles. We have the Walmart version of Shira. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> Free one. The free one is for STR debuff. This one I'll be using for agility debuff. Well, this can work. And also, Golden Ball can inherit Golden Syrup. You don't have the one from Target. <laughs> it's a store fight. Will this work? Do place your bats. I'm not entirely sure. This is an experimental squad. Full experimental squad. You only have Tesco version of something. <laughs> Oh man, you guys. I can use Shiu if I want, but not gonna help that much. So that's gonna use Water Hammer for now. Sorrows. I can use one Eutanize and save VP later. Shrine Dance. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. I'll use Water Hammer every two turns. At least on start, because Evelyn can also debuff the extra t sorry, debuff intelligence by chance, and we don't want that. Yeah, he just removed the debuffs. Shallow Bolt debuffed him. Haha, <laughs> someone died here. Even with Guard Up. <laughs> Negative torrent? My god, no, it's not work it's not working. It's not working. Maybe I started with the wrong approach. Water hammer. Let's just do shoe instead. Shoe, sorrow, euthanize, shrine dance. If he has plenty of debuffs, does it help to cleanse faster? I'm not breaking it there, Zod, but I don't know. I don't know how this works. This game is unpredictable. When you get a combo, it also debuffs more than normal, so this is not so good.
the five weakness already so maybe number of the buffs instead of what exactly you are debuffing I feel like the formation leaves your units having lower agility so they get weak put out before you can debuff this formation do not debuff agility it debuffs uh, turn order yeah it didn't work let's remove this setup This one does not debuff agility. Something is missing. We are debuffing too many things. You need fire and press in this fight. Seems like because she would debuff even further, right? I, I wanted to use different units, but what's the rush as well? If you don't have the right units, you should wait for future content, higher status. The buff is excellent to Yundin and he never cleans it. Never? So what's making him trigger that? Agility debuff? Maybe he has a different Dark Zod for agility debuff. So we should remove Shira from this. You Jordan, <laughs> no one has Jord. Final Press is recent, so yeah, let's bring her then. We're gonna stack a lot of things with so many guard ups. It's gonna be on the front. Maybe you should not debuff agility then. Well, you only know when you try. Does your organ impress Kroon Guard stack? It does. It also stacks with Golden Ball Guard up, but I think there's a limit where it's not stacking. I don't know how much, but yeah. After some time, they just don't work so well. It's 25 from the formation, 20 from Impress. I think it's 25 from the formation. Don't remember exactly. 24 from Impress, 30% with Golden Ball. So Yundin should debuff Shu. Raj Kick, Yuta Nice. I'm gonna start with Pero Shoot right from the start because he's not debuffed yet. So I should not use Try Dance then. Why? Why? This was dumb on me. Oh, negative torrent. This is so powerful. Shoe, Barrage Kick. Keep a turn at least. <clears throat> well, he didn't debuff himself. Maybe it's related to agility. Ah, uh, no, he just debuffed it. Cleans it. Just cleans it. We need to choose what exactly we want to debuff. The allegiance, the dexterity. I'm starting to think that's a number of debuffs that leads into the fire weakness.
The fire weakens again. Why is he doing so much damage now? Why is he doing 1000? Sometimes it seems like every time a boss uses the fire weakness, it buffs himself as well. That's what I was feeling on raid. Ah, Millennium Attack has a chance to debuff in buff Intelligence. Maybe he's doing that just because it's the Romancing Difficult. Maybe. Instead of debuffing him, let's use something else. Or maybe... Acupuncture Thurium Cycle Boom works better because they have a higher cycle. Every four turns. Good afternoon, Michael Lee. Well, how are you? Let's leave Unzin for intelligence. Let's remove Evelyn. I share you summon on the new Katarina button. No, I don't have chance. <laughs> Sadly. It's not a bad banner at all. But it's Slash and Pierce. We have to wait for our buffs uh, as well. What uh, should I use here? Claudio? <laughs> Claudio won't die. Mick. Instead of going for debuffs, can we just go for self sustain? Let's remove Copelia. Let's keep only the Intelligence debuff. The game is weak to Slash. He's native... Yes. Native weak to Slash. Resistance... Cloudy should be as well. It's because they do pierce. Yes. Maybe not so good. But he's a very good candidate. We can just kind of fix him with equipment. But should we? Minerva is weak to what? Slash as well. <laughs> He's damage too high. I use the bird here. <laughs> you won already? Uh, my first strategy will probably win just fine. It's just that I'm trying something new. You're usually really impressed with the formation that buffs your defense. Yes, and he's still doing a lot of damage, right? And he's natively strong to slash. But mine is not doing much damage yet. It's not fully maxed. Uh, we either keep Yunzin for intelligence debuff or Evelyn. Self-buffing is better. Yes, it is. But I already have a setup with self-buffing. The only thing that you can debuff is in the intelligence. Everything else, it has to rely on your own characters. I guess I'm gonna use Mikael anyway, we'll fix him. It's easy to fix this lash. Matriarch's armor gives a lot of resistance. Hydro Ladder too, not as much. Matriarch armor, the buffs agility. Hydro Ladder gives dexterity, but only two points. Does not change much. 
And I'll give him the Mastery Gloves. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. At least he self buffs. Yeah, like this. Self buffing helps, but if you don't lower his intelligence, he will hit you guarantee with Crimson Flare. And that one is pretty powerful. Oh, I don't have any intelligence debuffer now. Ugh. Removing mine. Oh, I do have an intelligence debuffer. Uh, Yunzin, where is she? She's here. Forgot. Let's go. Do I want to pull for Sarun yet? The next banner is Hilda, right? Wondering which banner should I pull. You should wait for the buffs because we cannot say much before we see the what they do. Because they can make her just so good. We could say skip Saruin and look what they did to Saruin. Buffed him to new levels. As long as you don't let him hit you, you won't have to debuff intelligence. I think you have to debuff intelligence if you are running this type of strategy. A full evasion squad works. I have one. Just so want to showcase something different, but water hammer all the time now. Mac blade. I forgot to inherit something better. Not you Shrine Dance on start, Ki first, and Imperial Shield. Rock Intelligence buff. I usually that squad with Rock and I already won. Uh, I usually try three different boss uh, setups so that people can replicate at least one. I already uh, defeated Bertrand with two different ones. Now I'm trying a third one. Time for Shrine Dance. But uh, I'm gonna try my other squads again. Defy weakness already. Okay, at least they buffed it later. A lucky on Boston passive. You won already? Miss? You just buffed your intelligence. He only has 25 chance to debuff to buff his own intelligence he just did. Peter Burt with other squad, but was it only romancing? It was not, but I do suspect that it will work on romancing as well. It's not so different, is it? I guess. Ah, <laughs> 600 damage. Ah, you are late. Oh, no worries. I'll try to use the other squads. I have a full evasion squad that <laughs> is kind of cheesy, but it works. Things on flare. He's gonna Q and press. No, he did it. Okay, everyone is on overdrive now. Oh no. Let's use Ki on overdrive. 
He used it up in all hands, but it was not fast. His version is not! He didn't learn from his family. Yundin is dying, not just her. And perhaps you'll see revive. That's why people use the new uh, nade art here. Because he buffed Will. Negative torrents just so powerful. This is where the need art becomes useful. I knew. I remember when I saw this Nadar release on JP, someone saying that Nadar was key to a fight, and it should be this one, of course. We were saying, no, Nadar is the best character to use in this fight. <laughs> now I know why. And Halloween Princess White Rose is so much better because he actually uses more spells than physical attacks. Ah, <laughs> evading! Just buffed his intelligence. 900. Well, that's cool for me, Kaywin and Brazen. I don't understand this Bertrand. He's missing, which means his agility is faster, but he's still attacking me first. Maybe he has a high priority attack. Ah, oh, she didn't use that on overdrive. Quadruplet. Oh, no. Ha! Aini is missing. Makes no sense. No, I didn't use that. <sighs> we can win, maybe? Do we go for damage or do we revive Golden Ball? I'm gonna revive her. Empress had already revived it. I didn't notice. Oh, Golden Syrup is the only thing available. <laughs> Any, but I'm using Any. My Annie is not maxed, her skills are level 20 or something. Instead of Annie, uh, we're gonna use Asolith. And just spin that agility, that intelligence buff. 
I didn't want to use her because I know that many people will have access to the two versions of her. Like, we need to bring this, the summer, and he inherit Mirage Step. That was fun. <laughs> it was totally not fun. And uh, Mirage Step. But it is what it is. Managed to pull it with Saruin. Luckily, he's very hard. Well, uh, let's kill him with the very first setup that we use it because people didn't see me using this setup and this setup is totally ab abusive totally abusive yeah and it works uh, so it's going to miss a lot hopefully not uh, you see I moved the cursor for another team and it entered with this one I hate this thing man it's happening since the last update Let's see if this is working because we use that on um, challenge two. It should. No reason not to work. But the problem was that uh, many of his characters are hard to get now. So I was trying different setups just to showcase. Playing a few of these and new building is so good here. Is her? Are you using for agility debuff? Seems like he wants to cleanse all the time. The reason why I was able to beat Bertrand was sheer luck. And two, I kept getting attack debuffs and Saruin on every turn. Your Saruin super strong, right? Yeah, he's already missing, see? Mmm, he just... <laughs> what have you done here? Everyone buffed and you still did damage. Crazy. Even Red took damage. You got one more BP with no walls. That's nice. We're gonna stack agility next turn. <laughs> well, but, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, even with all of this, Bertrand, what are you doing, man? I inherit Gale Darts. The important thing is her counters are status ramping. Yes, it is. Are you using the new counter mechanic? A new formation? Hummingbird. Well, well, well. There's a problem with Bertrand. He just buffs his intelligence, so he increases evasion all the time as well. Depends on RNG. He attacks two times in a turn. Young boys versus another young boy. <laughs> this is a edgy lord. <laughs> oh man, Bertron, what are you doing? No one here can revive. <laughs> Hey, Bertrand. <laughs> I think the second squad was easier. Is auto squad choose bug or is it part of their improvement? Oh, I think it's a bug. Bring Joe, let her talk to her mom. <laughs> 
I used this one here and actually, um, instead of painting, she didn't do anything good here. We can bring something else. Like no walls. Yeah, let's finish this already. I I'm getting sleepy. Hi, hi, Aviza. So much time since you last came here. It's been uh, with you from the start. I love your work, bro. Keep it up. I remember you. Have been missing. Same strategy work, he said. The boss not that different. <laughs> I was wrong. I, I was wrong. I know. It's a huge jump since Challenge 2, 3, and Romancing, huh? But bringing at least Mirs or Orlean, we have more heals. Should work, right? I still confused about enemy decks. But if we debuff, it will reduce damage or anything else. Only reduces damage if he, they use uh, attacks that have their Rapier or the Bow Icon. Without those icons or the gun icon, with all those icons, it would just debuff the accuracy of sword, great swords, or axes or spears, but not decrease the damage. He just a buff it. He just cleans it. Nameless bye. See you next time. Mirrors on the gates negative tord. <laughs> Hope they add feature that we will be able to see the full set of any boss before entering the battle. Yeah, don't think so. Sometimes they don't even show the boss. <laughs> I have other hands. We're gonna wait for next turn. Two battle hands. So people said they were using Saruin. Are they using the nuke attack? 
or just a Sword of Soaring attack? Sword of Sorungi attacked the buffs. I was lucky to get them all the time. I see. Well, you seen this big guns here? That is still giving me a hotish. Bertrand. Why do you do that? No, Pretinha, no. Oh man, I don't want to heal because I want to debuff next turn. So we're gonna use Ray of Hope on uh, her. And one Moonlight. Um, oh god. Ah, she just evaded and she didn't hear the, uh, heal anymore. Overkill. No, she's still alive! Nice! Oh, I forgot to ask, what does Dark Plus on the Dark Element weapon like Sword of Serene? I don't understand your question, David. On his weapon, because Dark Plus increases intelligence. Dark is like a, an elemental weapon. Elemental increases intelligence. I don't think I need to shoot anymore. Let's use Moonlight. Share sure, I haven't maxed him yet. What do you mean by passive is not added but multiplied? I don't know if he can beat Rofus with back-to-back -back passive buffs. He can beat uh, Rofus, but only when he stacks two times in using the nuke attack. So you can control the way that he beats Rofus. It's just RNG. You have to, to have one stack and then... You choose the attack and then you get two stacks and using his nuke attack. The one that comes from his ass style. That's how he beats the slash part of Rovers. What about Focus Phoenix? Is intelligence not far plus? It's because... Is it in intelligence plus? I'm not so sure. The game is not always cohesive. Green zone flare. Just kill it near them. You know what's so bad now? It's just that uh, when someone dies and press... Scrum guard stops working. Good evening, luck. That is the same case with uh, Wagner's weapon. His weapon is fire plus is because it increases intelligence. Heal back, Mirza, please. 
DNA. Vai, Kobum. Don't use Overdrive often, because you lose the formation bonus. Overdrive lose the formation bonus? Why do we lose the formation bonus, King? I didn't know that. Ah. Pre mitigation, pre action, but it's reaction. But when we uh, action before overdrive, does not that account? I didn't know. Oh, revitalizing water again. Only buffs if you are a character to attack after the boss. Here's a heal back, please. The amount of damage buffs is crazy. He obliterates skill from S styles already 15,000 damage difference with buff. My side we now still only have 110 STR. I haven't tested him no minute. He can get so much more status. But we just finished this, man. What a pain. What a pain. Well, we did. You said pre mitigation pre action. Let me check this formation bonus again. I hope this bird front becomes super useful. They buff in even more. You did? I did! <laughs> Thanks. But uh, this is not how I read. Uh, I thought it just says that gives the buff before you even start attacking. Are you sure about that, King? Like on the start of a turn, you get this this buff that decreases damage. I don't know. I wonder if he can reach 140 SDR. He can break that. <laughs> I have to do some testing on this. I still believe that this, the first strategy works. It's just that you need more retreats and try agains. There's one here. I, I'm pretty sure this works, but RNG has to help you as well. You get the buff until your character attacks. After it, it attacks, the buff disappears. I never saw any type of buff that works like this. That's why people don't use match work on this formation because agility. I didn't know about that. I have to do some research. Thanks for saying that, King. The JP Gods know about this. Oh, she has 146 STR. <laughs> I think Saruin can reach uh, close. No, it's not maxed, but also not so far. It's on the description of the formation, not on the description of the positions. Ah, uh, still, man. You know how this game is. How can you check? You can check on the flight. Maybe you can test before and after action is made on Tiger's Den. Yeah, I'll do that later. But we beat the boss, right?
Even if we suffer while doing it. In this game, not everything that it says, it's what happens. Fires then, you say here. Oops. Click change, click here, and tops. No. Defense information against all members' defense boost before taking an action. Before taking an action. Before the act. But it doesn't say that it disappears after you act. Before the act, the buff appears on the screen. But they disappear after that. It doesn't specify here. It's not so clear. Great against all range attacks. So it must sacrifice action priority for defense boost. Priority because we, we get a uh, decrease priority. Action order down. So if your attack has a high priority, it gets a debuff to the priority. But it doesn't say that the, 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 the pre-action defense boost disappears. That's why before means sure. Yeah, but, you know, since it's on the same turn that you attack, you cannot check it on the fly, I mean. You have to rely on the game says. What weapon does Zosma coming out soon use as word? Yeah, I think Zosma uses words. It makes more sense for him to use martial arts instead of this, but... I mean, they could be a little clearer about the, the description of this. It's not so clear. You know, because you probably already knew how this works, but just by looking on this... They don't always take the best approach when describing things. Mm, I think I'm misremembering then, sorry. Just test damage before and after attack. Yeah, have to do this. It's proven by one year already, but it's not up to the it's not up to debate anymore. Oh I mean, yeah, you know that's if people needed to test to be sure, it just means that the description is not so clear. That's what I'm contesting, not the, the real value. If you say so, I, I agree. The JP players test everything. Much more than we. So if you're saying it has some source, and then I believe you. It's just that when you look on the description, it just doesn't make that much sense. Doesn't really specify. Pre-action defense boost. But I guess you should just uh, keep your eyes on the screen to see if it triggers or not. On the bad time can literally kill you attempt. Yes. That's why Gambo is so much better in JP right now. Because it just decreases damage at all times. And also heals, and also increases love and charisma, and you can stack with their healings. Does Zosma have his evil magic abilities? I don't know, David. I don't play JP. I check the characters on the internet, but uh, I don't play JP. Uh, it's too much to play the game on two servers. This game is too grinding for you to do that. All players that uh, try to play two times in two servers, they eventually stop it. This game is just too much grinding. But if I remember correctly, he does need a, a weapon. Let me see. You can check here. You have now Roma Saga to check this. It's better to check from there. Let me click on Saga Frontier 1 and search for Zosma. There are plenty of Saga Frontier 1 characters, to be honest. Plenty. There's even uh, Dr. Nuzakan. Where is Zosma, man? Here. Zosuma. He uses his words. And he does have one spell, Ghost Attack. The other two attacks are Basilom's words. I think that he would just be much more um, similar to the original character if he used martial arts weapons and not words. Okay, gang, I'm going to work. Enjoy the stream share. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mario. I'm going to the bed as well. On the... Thanks so much for staying and have a good work. Bertrand, you gave me a hard ish. I'll try some other strategies, but offline. It's already past midnight, guys, so I just want to thank you all for staying up to this point. Has been a pleasure. And sorry for taking time to queue this. I tried different setups, but in the end I had to cheese him. Oh my god. I believe that Halloween Princess White Rose is very good. And if you don't have her, if you have the new Nadar, the new Nadar should be very good as well. Buffing Wii all the time. It really helps. Or Nawal's daughter, Nawal's daughter, or Princess White Rose, or Nadard are key characters in this fight. You can't evade. It's just too much. 
If the effect of Tiger's Den activity before action made, then the late attack type is better. But how can you make a full setup of just the late attacks? It's not so easy. One more question. Where does the story end on the moment? It just finishes with the Bertrand and Joe's storyline and then starts a new one in JP. I believe we have three more chapters in the story to finish the current chapter. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I remember. And then uh, in JP they started a new storyline, the third part. Santiago Lopez is here. Welcome, Santiago. It's been a while. How are you? Sadly, you are reaching here on the end of the live stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bed already because it's past midnight. We are testing the new content. Tomorrow you're back to normal operation. Today was actually holiday here in Brazil. So I was not so active on Discord. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for appearing. It has been a pleasure. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I don't know where you live, but I hope to see you soon in the next live stream or next video by tomorrow. Bye. Oh, oh, sorry, I just uh, finished the microphone here. I open it again. Uh, we don't have any info on the UDX styles because those still have to be presented. Probably tomorrow, Taiwan will release a video with the buffs. Bye, Santiago, Solid, Mutan Hill, Capivara, and David. Bye bye. I will make a video probably in two days from now because that uh, will have the information on rsrsdb.com. Bye, Moon Moon. Bye, bye, NJ and Skady. Hmm, let me see how many battles I have. I'm close to pitting for news. Very close. I got Pune and Ferdinand. I need six single pools. Six, so... 1.8 thousand gems. I need 600. Maybe I won't have that uh, to purchase gem. No! I think I have 200 gems for free. No, don't have. Well, I guess I'll have to check this later. <laughs> 